the last express entry draw was released on November 23rd, 2022, which was more than a month ago. The subsequent express entry draw was expected to be on December 7th, but that did not happen. This was a huge surprise and it was extremely unexpected for the express entry candidates all around the world. Why did IRCC not release a draw? Especially when they have been so very consistent with the draws, with a new draw almost every two weeks. Does this mean IRCC is planning to release a big draw before the end of 2022 or maybe early 2023? Is that why IRCC went on a little break? Well, they have done this once before, which was last year in February 2021. On 13th Feb 2021, a massive draw was released by IRCC where 27,332 applicants were invited under the Canadian Experience class and the CRS cutoff was dropped to merely 75 points. So can we expect something similar now? Maybe in early 2023? Or can we even expect another draw anytime soon? To answer these questions, we need to take a look at two very important things. First is the inventory backlog, which is the number of application files that are still pending with IRCC and the number of candidates in the express entry pool as of now. And secondly, the bill C-19. So if you look at the express entry pool table, there are currently 232,215 candidates in total, out of which 2,103 candidates are above 500 points. And the last three draws, we saw 4,750 ITAs being issued every single time and the CRS score was also decreasing constantly. So the intent was clearly there from the IRCC. So what changed? It has been a month now since the last draw. When will we see another draw? That's the question. To understand the situation a little more, we need to look at numbers provided by the IRCC on December 2nd, where we can see a total of 2.24 million immigration files are still pending, out of which 512,342 files are for permanent residency. The latest data shows that there are 43,326 candidates for express entry, which is 3,500 more than the last time. This rise in number is probably due to the 14,250 ITAs issued in the last three draws. Although the total inventory is decreasing due to the constant efforts of immigration minister and the whole IRCC team, but even after their efforts, the file processing cannot be brought down to its standard six months time. So is it possible that the reason why there was no express entry draw was because of the high inventory levels? That is something to think about. Now, we should not forget about this very important bill that, that was passed a couple of months ago that will change the face of express entry forever, which is Bill C-19. If you don't know anything about this bill yet, I made a detailed video about it. I will provide a link in the description. You can watch it later. Well, broadly speaking, Bill C-19 aims at changing the express entry draw in such a way that only candidates in some select occupations will be issued invitations. Although the list of such occupations has not been released yet, but immigration minister will incline towards inviting candidates based on Canada's economic needs and urgent labor shortages. For example, healthcare is one of those occupational categories that has been in high demand in the last five years and more so because of COVID-19. The healthcare sector has a 6% job vacancy rate. The Canadian government has taken some drastic measures to fill the job vacancies in this sector. This was just one example. But Canada in general has seen substantial growth in job availability, which is mostly because of high percentage of senior or older people in the country. Canada has seen a lot of retirements lately, but not enough youth to fill these job vacancies. So one thing is for sure, Canada is in need of experienced workers in its workforce right now. Canada is doing that by changing the eligibility requirements so that the temporary residents who are already, say, studying in Canada can join the workforce and also by bringing in more people through channels like Express Entry, PNPs, etc. So this pause in the Express Entry draws might just be a little break and the Express Entry draws should resume sooner or later. You can read more about it on my website. Link is in the description below. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more Express Entry updates. See you next time.